Well, 18th, 10 more days left of growing before winter. Sandy's giving me all kinds of fun stuff, because 10 hearts, you know. Might as well sell that stuff. Ancient fruit wine is nice to have made and sold. The rest of the ancient fruits probably are now going to go into making seeds. Um, that's why I planted the ancient seed here to begin with, so I'd have a few to grow in the greenhouse or wherever. But the greenhouse I'm going to use to try and grow some crops. Um, is it artichokes? Something. Something you can't grow for us here, but that I wanted to fill out the greenhouse with. Selling the cranberries are going to sell me, going to get me the 300. Then again, I could always get 300 of another crop. Pretty easy. I don't have to do the cranberries. It's always, um, you can sell 300 of, I don't think salmon berries or blackberries count as selling 300 of a crop because they're not something you grow. But, of course, I want to just keep planting up until day 20 when it doesn't matter anymore. I have a headache. I think I need to drink some water. <laughs> anyway. I'm more so concerned about trying to get people's friendship up now. Uh, money is coming because of the berry bushes. So I'm really not too worried about cash. And I can't fish again until winter as far as catching new fish. So... This is kind of a relaxing late late fall. Here's a cutscene. Yeah, make everyone happy. Uh, fine. Here, have this be your one freaking job. Clean under the goddamn sofa. In fact, in fact, you need about ten weekly jobs. Yeah. Anyway, I know she likes cloth, and I get those for free by the bunny dropping fluff. Um, happy sheep's can make wool. You know. If her cheese give him a leak, everything's fine. They don't ever visit the bar. So they're not part of the bar bums. And here I make the choice to buy the four trees I'm missing. And that is all of the money. Uh, the achievement to get the highest upgrade on your house, though, requires money. So, yeah. although you can make a lot of money in winter. I don't like having the greenhouse completed in fall. I'm like, why can't they, they don't let you build here, you know? This isn't the, the, the most ideal spot for these fruit trees. I should have put them in the greenhouse, but really, don't really care at this moment. <laughs> you know? So. The foraging and the slime killing, all that will slowly give me experience. But my, not the foraging, I've already maxed that out, but the slime killing will give me combat experience. It's always fun to kill slimes, see what they drop. You, get, you can get all except... Dwarf Scroll 2 out of those blue slimes. I got my Dwarf Scroll 1 as you saw through it. If possible, I don't want to collect artifacts off camera, except that it's fishing. I always edit out my fishing because it's boring. Um, I'm glad I got the chipped pot in town because town's the only place you can get that artifact. But here, I'm thinking maybe I should improve mining. Like EXP, kill some monsters, but 430 is not an ideal floor for that. Not a lot of rocks give you EXP. Might as well just go back to 420. Um, 420 is fine for copper, 440 is what you want for the this type of floor, you know? But min-maxing, just one or two floors if you can see a ladder, and if not, leave. Like here, grab this stuff because that's what you're there for but don't hang around it just it's inefficient use of your time it's good to get some of those things i have to remember this i almost lost this video um when you do a camtasia recording so use camtasia i know it's not the best program but it's pretty user friendly and camtasia being that user friendly uh it's it's a pretty decent beginner program um, it has problems doing frame by frame a lot of the times, and it can it's prone to crash if you use the arrow keys on frame. And that's hard to explain. Like if you have the uh, line at a certain frame, and you tap arrow key left, arrow key right, it does go over by one frame, but it also moves the entire fucking program over by a pixel on your screen. And, and if you do that too many times, it just crashes fucking Camtasia. I don't know why. But I tried using, um, you know the... Uh, there was a power DVD 
I bought my upgrade suite. I usually only upgrade power DVD like once every four years because it does what I need to do. I should never have upgraded power DVD from power DVD 7 because 7 was a user-friendly interface and did everything I wanted to do. Um, but yeah, you had, you had this little circular of uh, dashboard for your remote and the mouse wheel up or down would fast forward or slow down the, the DVD speeds and you could adjust that to be 1.5 slow, 2 slow. Uh, is this almost, I mean it's digital, but it <clears throat> simulated analog, you know, and it was really nice. But they took that away in 8 and now I think it's like 12 or something. I bought the most recent one this year as a discount and the whole package was like power something which is a video recording uh, suite like Camtasia and it came free with the upgrade so when I said uh, and testing new software like a video a little while ago that was the software I was using and I didn't like it um, they say it's a strong program but it wasn't user friendly I couldn't figure out a lot of things on it and that's really the main selling point on a video editing program is it user friendly and I haven't been using Audacity lately. I used to use Audacity for a lot of audio files and then put them on Camtasia. Now I'm just using Camtasia's mic recording of voice narration, which isn't as good uh, audio quality. I used to use Audacity record my commentary on Audacity because Audacity, Audacity is free and Audacity is, is fairly powerful for a free program. She had large goat milk there. And I bought Pathways by mistake. Um, yeah, it is by mistake. I thought Pathways, I get confused every time I see Pathways. It looks like a blueprint, and I always think that, oh, it's a blueprint that she has. It's a rare blueprint. Look, Dwarf Scroll 3 and a Winter Root. I was hoping they drop a Corpus or something. <clears throat> but it'd be nice to get that before winter. Because if winter day one doesn't spawn that, you have to wait until it spawns for foraging so you can complete the greenhouse. But she also needs to sell me a red cabbage. And she's not hooking me up. And it's been all fucking year. What was I talking about before? Audacity, right? They do pretty good with balancing left, right channels. Uh, adding echoes. Adding all kinds of audio effects. Slowing it down, speeding it up. Um, it's a fairly good free program. And I used to use it a lot. Um, I stopped using it, though, probably because of user-friendliness. Um, I think my video has frozen again. I almost lost this video. And Camtasia had to record it again. Okay, no, 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 it didn't freeze. My computer is freezing while it's trying to do playback. But yeah, anyway. Um, I'm, I'm sidetracking a lot about talking about Audacity and all those things and I like it, but let's get back to what I was talking about before and finish up that train of thought. Camtasia, you uh, then hit stop recording and then it takes forever to data into a preview uh, or save and edit, and I always save and edit. Uh, during the save and edit process, my computer had up and crashed and I screen of death, automatic restart. And then here with the the speed, I forgot he doesn't sell deluxe speed growth in here, but I need that because of power in time. My tailor profession every day, so it'll work. And I reset, recording file wasn't usable. So then I open up Camtasia Recorder again, and then it says, oh yeah, we can recover this, so I recovered it. Um, and of course, 32 mixed seeds. Uh, trying to see if I can get some year two fall crops growing. I'm growing the spring crops, so year two fall crops would be great. Well, don't have enough mixed seeds to get 50 of them, obviously, but hey, it's all random because you ran off seeds. So, uh, probably sprinkler from crow, but I don't do it. I forgot what day that was. I think it was Thursday and I couldn't. Pig sniff truffle grows up enough time to sniff a truffle. I need two truffle. Um, here's the iridium sprinkler, but I didn't get it. It's up. Sn pigs, I think, can sniff up more than a truffle a day, but I'm not sure. The bar bum's nice, you know. This come um, to show being friends with Elton, but I'm not gonna play those arc games, but I will give salads everyone. And you could actually buy the Joja Cola. The Joja machine that you get if you do the Joja. And the Joja machine is a person in town likes Joja Cola. 
Shane, everybody else, even Line is at garbage. So, and I'm respecting, I'm trying gifts a week limit, even to turn it off. I can easily turn that back, I just hadn't bothered. Um, to, with these bushes, I think, um, most people make their million by summer and then they're set up for fall. I should have planted bushes in summer. But now it's cranberries. Cranberry bushes. 96 of them, but it's not make your recordings. But here, I did the hour recording because I wanted to uh, do something else. But here, foraging's fine. Um, I, I don't can't upgrade foraging, but I can at least kill some of these trees that are just filling up my left side of my farm. So it's almost time to sleep, and it's almost time for, for me to start the next few days. So stand by for that. This is going to be in two parts for me, but one part for you, because I'll just put them together. All right, I guess we'll do this one more time. Yeah, look at all those great forageables. Too bad my foraging skills are already maxed, so it can't benefit from all of this, but it's, I'm gonna benefit, you know, to sell them. It's gonna be worth a lot of money. Iridium quality forageables are pretty decent uh, to sell. They're not the best crop, but six days for the crop, having, um, not taking much to reseed, it's not too horrible. And if they're all Iridium, then none of them are Iridium, and that means that you don't have to worry about picking and choosing the best ones or the worst ones to sell, right? So that's always a thing. And when it's raining, it already, it already waters it for you, so this is a nice thing to do. Um, that's going to be, what, 30, 24? Um, not the best greenhouse, but I'm not making iridium sprinklers. I, I need to sell a duck egg. I need to sell a few more things. There's definitely a few things for the sell everything achievement that I'm probably not going to get. I tried my best in summer to set myself up for fall, but the longer fall rolls around, the less I feel like I was prepared. And I think that has to do more with, um, well, in spring you're tight. You have to get fishing, you have to get the legendary fish, but at least you can fish up multiple legendaries and set yourself up financially for spring. But I really should have, in, I mean in summer, but I really should have in summer bought a lot more blueberries than I did and worried about getting sprinklers for all of them. Um, watering was annoying, but upgrading the watering can, of course, in spring, I should have been doing that faster, because then I could have had the gold can a lot faster. You don't have a lot of money right away, but I'm not sure uh, what the most efficient use of your money is. You gotta fish. You have to. You have to build the fishing up, for one, and it's a good way to get the money for the seeds you need. Uh, by day two you'll get the rod and so you have to worry more so about how much time to devote to fishing as opposed to mining but you don't get to mine until the end of the first week so you can spend those first five days getting your fishing skill up to like level four or five not sure how much it will be um, hopefully you get some artifacts fished up some books fished up um, 
Here I'm just deciding what I actually want to grab and sell because I, it, keeping too many things is ridiculous. So, and those things that are constantly making stuff, uh, some pickles and some booze, I'm not too worried about that chest. That chest is just more of a novelty for me right now to get a little bit of extra money, but since I'm not min-maxing my earning potential and I'm just simply trying to get fast money, then I'm not building a whole shed full of those things like I normally do. Like I normally have a giant uh, 12 or... 16 tree farm for tappers just so I can get enough to build those kegs and you know pine tar whatever it is here it's fine to get some iron and then Marnie likes quartz but not refined quartz so if you want to give her a light gift give her non-refined quartz I like to refine quartz because it sells for more if you if you have the coal already on hand and plus it's useful for things regular quartz doesn't have a building use but refined quartz does for sprinklers obviously um, iridium sprinklers need battery packs but, and I'm getting a lot of battery packs from the rainy days, which is very useful. Um, and I probably should start giving them to Meru, because that's, that's a loved gift from, for her. Here, looking for stuff. Nope, geodes, cave carrots, snow artifacts. Looking for that rusty spoon. Generally, you get it pretty quick, and I still don't have it. I also would like to find the dwarven drum, which you can find in these areas, too. But the hoe has to be upgraded first. And actually, after today, I should, I should think about upgrading the hoe, uh, because it's just one of those things that you need to, if you're going to search for artifacts here in the dungeon. A 403 is ideal for hoeing up dirt, and it would be really useful to have a golden hoe for that, because um, the floors are pretty static in the in the dungeon. Like this floor is always going to be the same. I actually recorded this commentary off of Audacity, trying to uh, get used to that program again, and I realized my microphone was mute the whole goddamn time, because I had accidentally hit the mute button as I moved it over. Didn't know I could do that, because the, the Yeti Blue microphone, actually, the mute button is a little bit stiff. It's kind of hard to push. On purpose. And that's useful. So you don't accidentally hit it, but apparently I hit it. So now I have to do this all over again. Which really is upsetting. Here I'm just killing rocks and hope to find some geodes because it's a lucky day and I didn't want to lose the luck potential of today. So I wanted to, as much as possible, get some of that. So here are the bar boozers. Time to give some booze to the three, the top three. You know, and everybody else can take a salad. Bread works, but it's a neutral gift. You don't really get a lot of friendship out of that. Salad is a liked gift. And I'm thinking, I, at once I thought baguettes would be better. But Oh yeah, and I also sell the goat cheese. I didn't really want to sell the goat cheese, but because it's a loved gift for Leia, but so is salad. Um, but if I wanted one for free, I would have just used my first goat cheese on her as a gift. But, hey, it is it is what it is, right? So, I'm wondering what I can sell here, what I can throw in the bin. Everything is too crowded. I don't have enough. I don't have a shed. Animals wander all around. It's a little bit annoying, but they do drop off their things in the evening. And so... If they're going to generate duck feathers or rabbit's feet, it'll be in the barn overnight. It won't be throughout the day. Pigs are the only ones that generate their thing throughout the day by snuffling truffles. Hopefully only one pig is necessary, and I hope the goddamn thing grows up. I know I bought it like a date 9 or 10, but I really hope I get two truffles. So minimum you need is two. Hopefully you get three, so that you can do Mayor Lewis's truffle oil request. But he doesn't pay you enough for truffle oil. He pays you 750 for it, and you can get 1800 for it or some crap like that. 16 or 1800 So he doesn't pay you what it's worth. It just makes him like you. So I'm getting some of these dino eggs. And there's a couple of gifts here for old grandma and the like. I'm thinking, okay, grandma, George, um... I gave Robin her loved gift. I gave her the spaghetti today before I asked her to build my... No, I'm sorry, that's today. Um, I don't have a loved gift on hand, but Gus sells spaghetti, and she likes spaghetti. She loves it. So um, I can give her a loved gift before I ask her to build my stable. So he wants ore, so I have enough ore on hand. I can just drop it and pick it up over and over again until it equals 40. So then I can make Clint happy that way and get another friendship point off of him. I don't know how many friendship points, but I know it takes up... It's one of the 40 tasks you need. Don't mind that. I was just checking the wiki on something. I'm not going to edit it out. It's inconsequential. I was just looking something up. I didn't realize I was still recording, so then I hit pause, and then I hit resume later. Here, nothing I really want to buy today. 
which is sad because I still need that goddamn red cabbage. Last time I got the community center year one, Gypsy sold me the red cabbage the 28th of December. Yeah. All fucking year. Like, some people get the goddamn red cabbage, they get it in spring. Spring is, it, it's really hard to afford it because she sells it for a thousand. But they're like, oh, I have to get it. I have to make a sacrifice and get it now. I'll just fish more. Uh, yeah, that's a thing. But here, I'm like, okay, I'm going to give Leia her salad. But, because I had that one extra from last night, but then I get two cutscenes because I realized I hadn't entered her house yet. She's already got four or five hearts. Five hearts, almost going on six. <laughs> Maybe it's six going on seven. No, no, I'm not sure. I just know that you get these two cutscenes back to back, one after the other. And her ex, I've already said this in a different Stardew Valley video, her ex is the same sex as you. If you pick male, her ex is male. Pick female, her ex is female. So, yeah. She has some character development. It's weird because she's like, I wasn't ready to settle down with a family. And I'm like, Leia, you're not young. You, you're, Your sexual marketplace value is dropping rapidly. You can't say it's not the time for me to have children all through your 20s. And then, I'm, I'm wondering where the fuck George is. He's not here. I did, I did not know he skates off during the day. I'm like, where the fuck does that little guy wheel off to? But, I don't know. I'm waiting for 12 to go in here. Make him go faster because I want to get some spaghetti. Because I got to give it to Robin. My mother's one of my mother's favorite foods is spaghetti as well. So I, I get where Robin's coming from. So might as well drop off this rusty spoon. And there's only eight more artifacts to find, I think. Five of them are bones. One of them is the drum. Two of them, you know, four of them are bones. One of them is the drum. That's six. And two of them. I mean, you have minerals. I still have some minerals. I can't put this where I want to put it, so I'll just put it there. So she can build that later. And I should have brought a battery pack with me. I should start doing that next week. I need to start giving Meru all the battery packs. Because she doesn't frequent the bar. But she's really easy to favor up once you get those lightning rods going. You gotta have some. I mean, you gotta have a farm of like 12. Otherwise, you're wasting the storm days. So there you go. I made him happy. Showed him the ore. He gave me some money for nothing. And I can put the ore back here. George, have a leak. You know. 3 p.m. rolls around, and I realize I have to give Carolyn her gift, her loved gift, because my bunny get got a free cloth, and she's getting all Meta Luna. You know, first the pot, and then here comes the crystal meth, and then finally the LSD hits. And I keep warning her she needs to stop with the mixing of the drugs because the crash is much harder than the high at that point. But she, anyway, whatever. Um, give her her love gift. If the bunny's going to keep giving me fluff, I'm going to keep giving her those because it's easy then to get her up. Once you have a sheep or a bunny, um, you can give her her gifts at no cost to you. And there we go. There's my farm of battery packs. I can just start giving Meru. Uh, put the ore back in there so it doesn't get auto hit into copper bars. And she will start building my stable tomorrow. And it'll be done by Tuesday. Um, and now I'm looking at the friendship, thinking who else I have to do things to. Um, and you have to get ten hearts with a lot of people. You know. Um, but then then I'm like, okay, let's reorganize some of these things. But I don't have enough chests to reorganize properly. Um, so it's more so just as best as possible. Here I'm mad because I'm thinking of the maki roll. So I put some ingredients to make the fried egg and the maki roll except the rice i have to buy the rice but pierre's already closed for the day so i can't buy rice but i'm prepared for tomorrow to put those two things in the bundle so that the only thing else i need is a truffle and then for the dye bundle i need a duck feather and a red cabbage <laughs> which is highly annoying i've seen people do this gypsy has that goddamn red cabbage so early but i need to get rid of that little booge right there yeah because it'll just make me plant in the wrong spot like it did before, and I was mad. So, let's prepare for some... Let's just grab some mushrooms, throw them in there, get some seeds going. Um, if all the forageables you hire, harvest are iridium, then it doesn't matter. You can make you can make your fall forageable seeds just fine. So, here I'm just making sure everything is in order. And I feel like I'm wasting my day and energy if I have this much energy at night. But it is time for the... Sunday boozers, which is only five of them. Um, Marnie and Pam and Clint and Gus and Caroline, who works there. So it's a small crowd on Sunday. But here we go. Here's some extra fishies that I don't care about or anything other than maybe selling and get a quick buck out of. 
I should probably save some of those, and maybe I can make ingredients out of them and just use them as fish. At least I think you can do the oysters or the mussels as fish. Here I'm looking for things. Don't find any of the things. I think there's an artifact location somewhere up here that only drops rocks. Because luck's not on my side. Yeah, oh, clay. That's, that's just a step up from rocks. Clay used to be used in, I already said that, to constructions and now. Oh, mixed seeds. Gee, you shouldn't have, game. Whatever happened to the bone that could pop up there? I think I already got that one. That's a skeletal hand. Alright. Looks like we're wrapping up. Looks like everything's going according to plan. But we're really down to the wire, and I really have to up my game if I'm going to do most of the achievements by year one end. You can't do all of them, but most of them. So, I'll see you next time.